Kea Wolford, thank you so much for being here. You know, it's come full circle, right? So tell us what it's like to be having this DVD party here in Hawaii and um, with your cast and crew. It's pretty amazing. Again, I, the reason why I made the film in the first place is because I feel so proud and honored to be a part of this community, this culture. And uh, we just, uh, an example was that our Hula Brothers were here. We just performed with my Kumu Rabu Kazuma, my Hula Brothers, and it just really brought out the whole feeling of what this movie is about. It's a pride in our culture and holding on to our traditions. And the fact that we can do what we, what we are doing here in Hawaii is really a sense of pride. And I just feel humbled and grateful to be able to share this story with not only ourselves, but with the rest of the world. It's definitely the rest of the world. And, you know, just people in your film, the characters, so diverse. They all dance hula, but they're all their own person. And, you know, how does that translate to, you know, our world? And it just really, it just show, goes to show, like, we're taught that hula is life. And in so many ways, what, what is portrayed in the movie is that what hula dancers in the modern times have to go through, not only to, you know, survive in, in, in the modern times, but, to, but in doing so, the lessons, the values that we learn in hula um, become a part of what we do. And not everybody understands that. Like a lot of people don't even know uh, that men dance hula and the, the, the depth and the history that hula is and has. And so it, it, it's really awesome to get people that do understand that, which, which really helped make this film so authentic and to open the eyes, I guess, of people who might not know this. People all over the world love hula, but now they're gonna love the true hula of men and women, not just women, right? So I know you have a lot going on and I know you gotta get back in there, but can you quickly share with us, you know, what's next for KO? Sure, well right now, immediately, uh, I'm taking the film out, uh, out of the country now, so it's going to Japan and Mexico. Uh, in the meantime, um, it's getting distribution uh, worldwide as well. And I have a couple of scripts that I'm working on. I'm also going to be acting in a couple of uh, films, um, Hawaii-based films. Uh, and so I'm just, I'm keeping busy. My character's still alive on Hawaii Five O Two, so right. we'll hope to be back there. Um, yeah, so lots of stuff creating. And, and I really, really want to continue to create projects that elevate the Hawaiian culture in the eyes of the global awareness. Well, thank you so much, Anne. We saw you in Godzilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Godzilla, yes. That was fun. I still haven't seen it because actually on that premiere, I was actually working, so I couldn't make it. But uh, I, I'm excited to see it. And again, very just blessed to be able to do this. Yeah. Just so awesome. Well, thank you so much, and God bless you.